Hello YouTubers, Dark Monkey Jr. here, and today I want to talk about the uh, battle pack slash unlock system in Battlefield 1. I've been seeing in-game a lot of players like wondering how the system actually works, and there's been a lot of confusion, so I'm just going to try and simplify it for everybody, um, and I hope you guys are going to find this video helpful. So basically, battle packs are... Uh, there was battle packs in Battlefield 4, and now they've made them available in Battlefield 1, but... The difference is in Battlefield 1, there are only cosmetic upgrades apart from occasional very rare XP boosts that you might find in battle packs and the uh, puzzle melee weapons that you can unlock if you have the required puzzle pieces. So there are three different kinds of battle packs. There are battle pack, just the regular one, enhanced battle pack, and superior battle pack. So the, bat the regular battle pack is awarded to players when they finish a game. Pardon me, when they finish a game. So if you stay till the end of the game, you're going to have a random chance of getting a battle pack. And that is a ratio of one battle pack per six players. So everything in between, like let's say there's 24 players, that's four battle packs. If there's 18 players, uh, that is still, uh, that's going to be three battle packs and so on and so forth. You guys can do the math. Um, but I, I saw some uh, discrepancies uh, towards this randomness system. Uh, the other day I was playing Team Deathmatch, and I was top player. I think I played around 30 rounds of Team Deathmatch, and there are only two rounds in which I did not get a battle pack. I got 28 battle packs out of 30 matches that day, which was ridiculous, and I think that is due to the fact that I was a top scorer on the board for those 30 consecutive Team Deathmatch rounds. Now, I'm not saying that this is actually uh, how it is intended to be, but I feel like it has something to do with it because most of the times when I'm the top player on the scoreboard, uh, I usually get a battle pack. Um, and th that is something that uh, they they're going to need to fix, like uh, how the battle packs are awarded because I think there's some favoritism here. Uh, so... Getting back to what I was saying, so the regular battle pack can contain any of the items below, which is legendary skins, distinguished skins, and the special skins, which are the white ones. And there's also a possible bonus of the uh, puzzle pieces, either for the sawtooth knife puzzle or the bartek bludgeon puzzle. The second battle, th and then after you uh, get those battle packs, there. If you already have the skins or you want to scrap them, you can do so for scraps to buy better battle packs. So let's say you accumulate uh, 450 scraps, you can buy this one, and this one will give you uh, chances to get only distinguished and legendary items with a better prospect for the additional bonus piece and a better prospect for a legendary skin. And Superior Battle Pack, you only get legendary skins and a, an even higher chance of getting the uh, possible bonus piece. Now, how the scrap system works is for every special, you get 30 scraps. For every distinguished, you get 90. And for every legendary scrap, you get 270 scraps. And the prices for the uh, battle packs are 200, 450, and 900. So I just wanted to um, make a little bit, a little video on this uh, to make everything a little bit more clear for everybody. Because I think there's a lot of confusion with the new battle pack system in Battlefield 1. Albeit, I do like that it only gives you cosmetic upgrades and you don't have to wait to get uh, 25 battle packs to get that Kyrie Red Dot site you wanted. And just for everybody's knowledge, uh, here are the puzzle pieces. You can just go into your battle packs and go puzzles. And you will see how many puzzle pieces you have for each of the two puzzles. Uh, you, it's possible for you to get more than the five required. In that case, you can just scrap them. I already have the sawtooth knife, and I am one puzzle piece away from the Bartek bludgeon. I was very lucky in my uh, quest for the puzzle pieces. Um, it was just crazy. But yeah, so that is how the battle pack system works. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments down below or send me a Facebook or Twitter message. But I hope this, this video helped you guys out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.